Good fucking morning. Um, I've been working 10, 11 hours every day these days. And gym wise, I'm only working out a little 5 sets, 10 sets each per muscle group. So it was different from last week where I worked out twice a day. And I'm feeling so much pain this week. So much pain this week because I've been working on strength. And in terms of work, I've been working 10, 11 hours because I'm going to take Google Cloud Computing Cloud Architect exam, which is called a GCP Cloud Architect day Thursday, today's Monday, and today's Tuesday. So I've been working pretty long hours every day. Eight hours, no more work, plus two, three hours extra after work to uh, study and then go through videos and whatnot. Um, so that's kind of my life. And last weekend I studied whole day, whole day, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm working like 60 hours a week, kind of, maybe more than that. Um, but, you know, this is not the standard, um, how much I work every single day. Um, obviously, I'm preparing for exams, so that's why I'm adding extra times. Also, from this Thursday, temperature, weather is going to be so good, like a 20 degree, 18, 20 degree summer, sunny weather. So, if, you know, weather is so nice, then I'm, I'm discouraged to go to office and study or stay home and then study. And that's why I decided, okay, you know what, this, you know, three degree, five degree outside, this is like perfect time to just stay inside and study. Cause you no, know, how, how else do you, are you going to spend time in, like outside if it's cold? So yeah, definitely I can do eight hours a day, five days a week, but I just wanted to, uh, you know, use my time, um, very effectively you know winter spring time and then i'm going to take advantage of good weather and uh, longer 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 days after work in the summertime and in terms of google cloud platform google computing platform google cloud Com platform gcp exam i think i might fail I might feel because I checked uh, people's comment about latest uh, exam which got renewed 2018 November so it was like last end of last year it got renewed and they they are saying that they start the exam started covering new topics and it got much much difficult so and all the you know course materials like uh, video courses that I've been going through are, are not up to date with the latest version 2 of the GCP exam which means that they might not cover the topics that new, ex new exams gonna ask us that's what uh, some of the students were talking about in the comments in the forum so for me I dis I thought uh, I'm gonna postpone this exam for like two weeks because I feel like I need to cover a lot more um, materials but at the same time I wouldn't know unless I take the exam which section that I need to refocus on I know some students said like a BigQuery, data store, indexing, partitioning, stuff like that uh, stuff that is covered more in a data engineering exam but to be honest I might be able to pass I might not be able to and the point was to not be perfect and to not be scared about you know taking exam because I can fail you know if I fail that's fine I can focus on like what I'm going to need to learn from based on the feedback from exam I can take exam in two weeks so I decided why not and plus it's a, I'm gonna be taking exam this Thursday afternoon and then Thursday 6 p.m. I'm gonna go to Prague so 
um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I'm gonna be in Prague. It's a long weekend here. So if I have four days, like vacation kind of holiday, and then come back and I try to take a cloud architecture exam, then it's gonna be tough because I kind of forget about all that stuff in my memory, right? So that's how I plan about that's how I plan about uh, cloud architecture exam. Obviously, I don't want to fail because it's a uh, two hundred two hundred dollars exam. But it's it's a uh, company's uh, training expense, and uh, you know people fail, so it's fine. So that's a uh, Google Cloud architecture exam. I will give you that update. Because um, I'm pretty sure it's it's pretty tough, and that uh, you need to you need to read a book called a uh, Google Site Reli Site Reliability Engineering ebook, which is must for a uh, site reliability reliability engineer or DevOps. I haven't read that. But I have gone through uh, uh, Linux. I started just going through Linux Academy's uh, video about GCP Cloud Architect. Before that, I've been through uh, Coursera. Coursera's uh, GCP Foundations Essentials, uh, taught by Google instructors. But those are kind of foundational stuff. This is um, Mocha. Protein shake, whey protein. This is kind of breakfast for me. Today's a low carb day, so I'm not eating much rice or pasta or banana. It's I'm I'm restricting carbohydrates, and I'm eating a lot of protein and a high fat food, so that um I'm, my body's gonna burn um, body fat as a source of energy. And then two days from now, I'm gonna go back to medium carb and then after high carb day. High carb day is where I do squat and bench press for strength. All right, aside from that, um, I went through a Coursera course. I went through a Udemy practice exams um, created by Woods Lab. I did three sets of questions, three sets of uh, 50 questions. And also I did a Coursera practice exam. Uh, so at this point, I have done almost everything. And then mm -hmm. Linux Academy's video course is kind of like a wrap up. I'm just, you know, fast forwarding by uh, two times the speed and uh, trying to find something that I haven't learned by skimming through. Then I'm going to go through and I'm skimming through some data engineering courses uh, Contents because some students asked about BigQuery, data store, partitioning, indexing, kind of database, big data stuff, columnar, columnar storage. And then I need to read a Google documentation about best practices for indexing, best practices for partitioning, uh, stuff like that. I need to read documentation, which is like kind of boring. You know, it's kind of hard to get focus down and then lastly I don't think I have time for this uh, Thursday but I need to read a Google site reliability engineering book if I don't have time that's fine um, I'm gonna read it maybe you know, next time like I feel the need to read or maybe if I fail that's a good time to like really read and then really understand and dig deep down the concepts about uh, you know, those monitoring about uh, availability, about security, all that kind of stuff. So I'm not really feeling a desperate or anything like that. I've done uh, most of my hard work, and so if I fail, then it's a good opportunity to kind of, kind of complement my knowledge, kind of have extra knowledge about adding extra layers of foundation layer by reading the Google Site Reliability, Site Reliability Engineering book, which is pretty. Highly recommended for all the DevOps and the cloud uh, SRE software engineers out there. And yeah, I'll try my best, but today I'm gonna work probably eight hours plus four hours, maybe 12 hours. I'm not going to gym today. And tomorrow I'm gonna work like extra at night as well.
and then Thursday is the exam day. So I'll let you know how it goes. All right, peace.